my little ugly tie-dye shirt we are gonna do a hair refresh i have a 30 developed to really look like this i feel like i definitely need a 40 but i have only this so i'm gonna just use it until it runs out but my, if you have naturally dark hair like me i suggest going with the 40 developer not a 30 and of course if you've been following me for a while then you know the developer in here is trash it's really meant for like blonde headed people because this developer in here is like a 20 or even a 10 developer it's just to put the color on your head it's not going to lift anything and if you have dark hair that's not going to work for us so this is always goes in the trash in the trash for me i have towels down old clothes to protect the floor and everything because you know with hair dye it always somehow gets everywhere well the other thing people always ask me like how much developer do you use and honestly i don't know i just I just poured the I just poured in here and I got this from Sally's five I love this color so everything that comes in the box which is obviously that developer I just threw away the color cream this little oil I do always add this in there just because I like the shine it gives and then the conditioner I'm gonna go ahead and mix the color throw this off this little red thing is just like a protector and then we're gonna snap it all the way back in because that's what's gonna open up this applicator if you've never dyed your hair so you can dye your hair with me girl I like to oh my god I like to add this oil in there and it smells so good too all right so we have the hair color the little oil now I'm gonna go in with the developer and like I said, I'm just going to pour a good amount to like get about there. You guys see that? You get this bowl at Sally's, guys. So just, just get the bowl at Sally's, okay? And then I'm going to start mixing it. Careful. Start mixing this carefully until it's completely smooth and you don't see any lumps. So start smoothing that out and... Put your gloves on. I buy these pack of gloves from Sally's as well because the ones that come in the box are just like so huge and you end up getting stained. And then also use a lotion around your surrounding areas of your face so you don't get stained, especially if you're dyeing your hair like on a Friday like I am and you have things to do that weekend. Uh, protect yourself so you're not walking around all stained. I always do my neck, the sides of my face my forehead and my ears you guys i'm just using one box to retouch my hair which like i said is mainly the roots i want to retouch i'm just gonna start applying it to my roots that way it has more time to process there while i touch up the rest of my head just hitting all my roots it's so cool that so many of you girls it's so cool that so many of you girls enjoy my hair dyeing videos like you know it makes me just miss my sister so much you guys and my cousins like when we all lived together growing up and we used to dye our hair to me it's just like a fun experience dyeing your hair like you're just you know doing something for yourself and you're having girl time you're having girl talk and like I enjoy my girl time with you guys and so many of you guys enjoy my you know these girl time videos when we dye our hair together and y'all see the outcome and then today I'm so excited because I'm actually um, gonna be showing you guys how I curl my hair I got sent this beautiful wand and I cannot wait to show it with you guys like we're gonna do like a first impressions Today I wanted to talk to you guys about a story of whenever I was in middle school, you guys. I think we all, I don't know, does everybody have a bullying story or is it just some of us? A sixth grade was like when we finally left our elementary campus and you're going to like your own campus. So to me, I literally felt like I was like at that teenage preteen time, you know what I'm saying? Like you're not a little kid anymore playing with Barbies but you're not full teenager yet. And then I wanna say like a few weeks in school, probably like two, three weeks, we got this new student in. The classes I had her in was math. 
and i just remember for some reason you guys she always treated me so badly like always interrupted me when i was speaking if i was like sharpening my pencil like she always had something to say and i never understood like what was this girl's problem you know i was just like so shocked that she would even treat me like that i felt like you know when it's happening to you like you you like to assume that you're gonna react one way but when it's really like straight on full-on bullying like you're almost like in shock i felt like that's where i was and what was crazy was that i wasn't even her friend like i didn't talk to her i felt like girl you don't even know me enough to hate me like i think the most embarrassing part of that you guys for me was in sixth grade i started my period in school it wasn't my first period that was like my second real period like when you're still learning and like you don't know i'm like oh my god like my legs are so hot and i look down and i see red do you know how bad i wanted to just like disappear like tragame tierra like seriously i'm in a class where this girl hates my guts and takes advantage of making me look and feel dumb every chance she got i have to stop her to tell her man i have to go to the nurse and then everybody was gonna know why because there was blood all over the seat like i was so traumatized you guys like i was crying you know it's like lunch time so we go to lunch and everybody in lunch i'm not even exaggerating like maybe i am exaggerating but this is how it felt everyone in lunch knew i had started my period like and everybody was making fun of me because of course in, in sixth grade you're like 12 11 years old and it's like the funniest thing to everybody that you started your period at one point just like everyone like you get tired of people messing with you that's why like i think like bullying like dude you don't know when that might be someone's last straw and you don't know the re repercussions of what you're saying like you can end someone's life or you can make them end yours or worse hurt people that shouldn't even be hurt just because of how much pain you're bringing them you know, she'd always say stuff like oh she just doesn't want to fight me because she's scared that i'm gonna mess up her pretty face like she'd randomly say stuff like that so i'm like okay obviously some like this girl has issues because she's lying on me telling everybody i was afraid to fight her in school because i wanted to do this and that like finally eighth grade comes around you guys and she's not in our school like she's gone and i'm so happy i'm enjoying eighth grade and one of my friends at the time he's like hey dude did you hear so and so is back in school like she's back in our school and i was like what i felt like my stomach just dropped i was just applying the color everywhere now i'm not like because i already finished all the roots i forgot to tell you all that so it's just like processing so i'm just gonna start applying the color everywhere the time i had told myself that i was determined not to let her ruin like not to let her ruin my middle my middle school experience it was my last year at this school and then we were going to high school so i was like i'm done like i feel like by that time i had already learned to be stronger and she had already put me in situations where i almost got myself jumped because she would say like things about me that I was talking about certain people that I'd never even met, dude, that weren't even in my right, circle. So now I'm gonna do the other trick that I do, which is put on a trash bag on my head, or you can do, I don't know, trash bag, garbage bag, whatever. I like to do this because it traps in heat and it helps this process faster. And it is a proven fact. It's like when you go get your hair done, they put you under that like, you know, blow dryer thing, but obviously I ain't got that. And I'm not gonna sit up here with the blow dryer on holding one so i'm just gonna put this on and let it process for like a good 30 to 45 minutes and then i'll be back and i will show you the result and we'll do our hair and i'll tell you the second part of what i did to that girl in eighth grade because she went too far and i've told my parents like i'm about to beat this girl okay beep i'm about to oh and i forgot to say you can add a little bit of the hair stuff to your eyebrows I blow dried my hair. This is the end result. I think because my room is really dark right now, you can't really see, but it definitely is giving me that gorgeous chocolate caramel color that I love. This part of the video, I'm going to be styling my hair with you guys and continuing my story about 
my childhood bully. I want to say thank you to my sponsor, Vadana, for today's video. I'm going to be styling my hair today with their curling iron that they sent to me. So nice of them. Pretty long hair, and I love curling irons. I love curling my hair. So I was so excited when Vadana reached out to me, and they wanted to send out their products so I can test them out with you guys. And here is the packaging. Everything is so pretty and pink. I love this baby pink color so much. And these are some professional Vadana hair clips that they sent over. So I'm gonna go ahead and open them up and see. Oh my gosh, you guys, they are baby pink too. Let's see. I'm so bad at opening packages, you guys, because I have no patience. I'm so sorry but I don't have patience. So look how cute these clips, and these are perfect whenever you are doing your hair, or whenever you're curling your hair, to like clip back sections of hair. We're definitely gonna be using these today. They sent over is this gorgeous brush. That is so cute. I love how, you know, the V goes with it. And what does it say? So it's also a baby pink brush. How cute. Oh my gosh, it's a big paddle brush super cute i love it actually let's start brushing out this hair next thing is this glam wave curling iron and it's also baby pink the whole package is baby pink and this is about one and a half inch so i'm gonna go ahead and let's open this let's go ahead and open it out and then they also sent this in i'm guessing if your outlet is different that way you can connect it <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so beautiful. It's like a really pretty pink with glitter. Literally, it's like really fine shimmer glitter. So freaking pretty. It's a ceramic barrel, and I love curling irons like this that also have the curling iron, or you can use as a wand and just like wrap your hair around it. So I'm about to I'm gonna turn it on and let's get it hooked with this so you can go ahead and connect it to whatever you need to connect it to. So there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to my outlet now. For all hair types, I love that. And it's also saying that it's snag resistant. And I'm so excited to see if that is true because my hair stays getting pulled in curling irons and curling wands, you guys. So obviously because this is like a curling wand, I wanna show y'all, let's see how it looks if I was to do like a regular curl, you know? I used to always like mine just wands, but then I stopped because I feel like you get more out of these types when they have like the little curling thing that actually holds the hair in place because the curls are different. Bouncy ringlet, super cute though. The other types of curls you could easily do is the wrap, the wrap curl, which is just wrapping your hair around the barrel and just hold for a few seconds. Then we're gonna let it go. And this curl looks like that. Super cute. So I like to take larger pieces like this to start curling. Larger sections, I mean. Back to the story, ninth grade's coming up. We're in our last semester of eighth grade. So I really thought this girl was gone. Again, I'm like, she didn't come back all summer. She didn't pop up when school started again. And I was like, she's finally gone, thank God. So she starts up and we have class together again. And this time, this girl, you guys, we had a, like, we were sitting in class and we had a presentation that we all, that we each had to do you know go up in class and like talk or whatever there and she's literally sitting right in front of me like she's the first table right there so i could literally touch her of how close we were so i'm up there and next thing you know a little baggie with some substance in there um some type of substance falls on the floor and she starts saying like oh my god is that leslie's like oh my god like leslie has stuff at school that's not supposed to be here and i just remember like freaking out you guys because the teacher of course like freaked out and they called my parents like seriously it was bad like my parents were crying like they thought something like that i was some type of druggie or something oh you know my parents trust me like i would never do something like that 
so my parents were like we're we're gonna drug test you to make sure that you're not lying and i was like dude i i'll go take a drug test right now and y'all will know look how pretty these curls are coming out you guys um i was like i know y'all are gonna know i'm not lying like i'm gonna come out clean because i don't do that i don't sell that i don't even like no no but this girl was loving it of course she was spreading rumors telling everybody and she was spreading rumors telling everybody in school stuff and I was suspended for two days until I guess they figured out the whole situation. So my parents at this point were already like understanding the situation I was like in with this girl and everything that she had been putting me through. And like they believed me that, you know, I, I'm like, dude, I'm like, y'all have me super strict at home. Like, when am I going to be, where am I going to be getting these types of things? And where, like, what would I be doing with them? Like, you know, I share a room with my sister. I shared a room with my sister. So it wasn't like I could be like drugged up in my room, you know? I was like, look, if you're going to do something to that girl, like you're going to get in trouble regardless. Like regardless of if you get in trouble at the house or you're going to get in trouble at school, make sure that it's worth it. I've been using this hairspray. I got it because it was saying that it blocks humidity and, um, it's okay i don't really like this his hairspray that much because the hold is like very very light but i don't mind it came back to school i already came back with like an idea in my head like i came back with a mission you guys like sometimes like when i think back i wonder if like the people around me like people that i considered friends during that time like did they know that I was getting bullied that much probably not they probably thought like oh it's just like a tease or whatever but it really was hurtful the like, most ugly rumors about me she would call me like bible hugger because she knew that my parents were like really religious and that my parents were strict so i couldn't shave so she would literally be telling everyone and when you're in middle school like that's embarrassing because you know like you are hairy and like you can't shave like there's nothing i could do about it she just loved to rub it in my face all the time you guys so anyways and during those three years, I did try to fight her a couple of times. You got on and tell people it was because I was begging her not to, which was always a lie. And then I would confront her and somehow or another, like she'd get away with it or she just wouldn't come to school for a few days. And it was always something. So that time I was like, I'm not telling anybody. Shiny these curls are. Like, do y'all see that? What I'm liking and noticing the most is how intact my ends are. Like, there's no frizz. Like, there's sometimes where I curl my hair and my hair looks like frizzy, because especially, especially when you just get out of the shower and you blow dry your hair. Did y'all see how poofy my hair was? And look at it. Like, it's not doing that at all. The religious quiet girl from school, I, I know like no one was suspecting anything or I think no one was sus suspecting anything. I see her go to the restroom, you guys, in the cafeteria. I see her going in there and I walk in there and I let her use the restroom and I was waiting for her outside by, the, by just where you wash your hands. And as soon as she comes out, she like looks at me like, what the heck, you know? And I was, I was just there by myself looking at her and I just told her like, hey, I'm like, I'm really tired of your crap and i was like and i've asked myself so many times like what is it that i ever even did to you to make you hate me so much what are you talking about like i don't hate you and i'm like girl you literally ripped off a necklace that i had on my neck once because somebody gave it to me for my birthday and you ripped it off me and chunked it i want her to know i'm talking business so i shoved her really really hard until she fell back and then I feel like that's when like my anger kind of like took over, started kind of going at it. Prior, like when I'm mad, I cry. By this point, I was already crying and I was like talking major crap to her, just telling her that I was tired of her, that I was so tired of her crap and that, you know, she's a B word, that she's a B and that she's a loser. And that, you know, um, basically that I wasn't gonna let her punk me anymore. And that, what does she want to do about it? Like we're right here, right now. I see anybody, like it was just like a blur. Everything was just like black and you know, I'm not very proud of that because I don't like my emo I don't like to lose control of my emotions. I don't like to do that. I regret that though. I don't regret it. I don't regret standing up for myself. After that, you guys, she never messed with me again. And not just her, but other people in school that were kind of like in her friend group that were started calling me, you know, Bible girl or Bible hugger, or all that other stuff, you know, Harry girl, like all this stuff you guys that people would literally just pick on me for i got picked on so much in school 
and now that I'm older and I see these people like I see some of these people in my DMs I see some of these people in my Facebook messages like apologizing to me like dude I already done healed from that I done moved on from that but trust me it turned me to who I am today do you see that look at that shine you guys I love hair refresh and I love when curling irons and I love when you have a really gorgeous shine to your hair so here are the end results of these gorgeous curls like the ringlets it is so true that this does seal the hair follicle because like I was saying my hair is not frizzy at all like zero frizz honestly I kind of just even want to comb down some of these flyaways look at that that is crazy you see all these little flyaways like obviously be careful don't do this because you can burn yourself but this is a little trick on you guys i am definitely in love with this vadana hair curling iron i think it is so cute i love the pink if you are a girly girl you know you gotta have anything in pink link down below if you're interested in purchasing this vadana curling iron this glam wave i will have a link down below that way you can try it out and the final steps that i like to do when i curl my hair is obviously spray down but then i always like to use a brush because look at look at how tight these curls are we want to open them up you guys and this is gonna give us a way looser prettier effect which is what we want back to my story so i can finish this video was yes like i finally stood up for myself and i'm so glad i did because i feel like that was a changing point in my life where i'm an adult and i have my own kids or i have my own kid like i think about bullies and i see that a lot of the times they're the ones screaming the most for love and for attention and they pick on people maybe they feel that they that if they have something that they wish they could have i've learned to let that go and i'm so much better now from that moment in my life and thank god you guys after that happened we both obviously got suspended from school and all that stuff but she never came back to school after i think after that they had told us that she um i think word got around that she ended up transferring to a different school and then in high school i thought she was going to come around as well but she never did i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye